I'm Daniel from the Copapa group. Very grateful to be in front of you here. So before I start, given that we've already learned all about blockchain today, before today, who has heard about blockchain? Quite a lot of hands. Who owns cryptocurrency? A little bit less. Who is involved in building the blockchain future? In this room, there's quite a lot, but already very, very few. So I'll take you through my personal journey. Um, I grew up moving back and forth between China and Israel. And I've seen how in a very short period of time, a country that holds a sixth of the world population took more and more people out of poverty using innovation. Blockchain is transformative. There's a lot of promises that you've heard before today and today. We're basically bootstrapping a whole new and alternative economy, financial systems. But in reality, very, very few people are actually involved in the process of creating this new and alternative economy. Aotearoa actually is a little bit like blockchain. It's like this secret, super, super awesome place that iwi people are so empowered and like those of us who are lucky enough to be in contact with this land and those people feel completely transformed. And it's operating from the edges. <laughs> now, um, not too long ago, I was a research scientist um, studying quantum nanoelectronics. And while I was working on my studies, I started working on building a community of educators in the crypto space. So um, some of our content got um, so, so popular that it was ranked number one on uh, Google with zero dollars on marketing. And not too long after that, um, Chinese people forked our open source repos. And I made best friends with those guys. And I found myself leading collaboration with um, communities that has hundreds of thousands of developers in China. So I pretty much dropped out of my PhD <laughs> and was working full time in crypto, um, a little bit in the banking sector, and um, later on, on some other more grassroots focused community stuff. And not too long ago, I started a project called Tensorum. And what we are doing is making this technology is relevant for just every person. So you can now go to Tensorum and register your username with just two clicks. And it's not just a bunch of mumbo jumbo stuff that are not useful anymore. And we're also developing SDKs for developers to make it much more easier, similar to my fellow Aaron. Now, I want to also touch on our responsibility as entrepreneurs and change makers. We're all very, very privileged to be a group of these people that get to see awesome places in the world, get to meet interesting people, get to do the work that we really love. But it's not just a privilege. We have huge responsibility. And this also connects to the mission of the Copa Copa group, which is our responsibility is to heal the world, to create positive change to bring these superpowers that we have as entrepreneurs, change makers, and share it with more people. And not, not stop when some hardships come. And I'll share with you one small bit before I finish. Um, I applied three times to the Edmund Hillary Fellowship Program. <laughs> When I first heard about this program, and I did not know anyone that is involved, I basically knew that this is my calling. A few years ago, I started coming to New Zealand at every occasion that I can, soaking up what this land has to offer. And this reminded me a little bit of how Sir Edmund Hillary, when he first achieved climbing Mount Everest with Tenzin Norgay, said, we knocked the bugger off. 
Thank you. Kia ora.